This isn't Mars. Or the moon. But it sure does look like it. I'm in Longoy, Quebec, at the Canadian Space Agency, with robotics engineer and rover guru, Chantal Dubois. And this is absolutely off limits. Canada has a space headquarters, and today, I'm checking out a place they call the Mars Yard. The terrain here simulates the surface of the red planet, or the moon, for prototype rovers. Chantal can test wheels for climbing over rocks, and whether sensors can capture images like this. Prototype rovers can even detect obstacles. So can you tell me about the rover right behind us? Yep, so this is Juno. It was a prototype that we developed for the Lunar Exploration Analog Deployment. We built this rover and drove it around in a quarry to look at rocks and collect samples. Juno has stereo cameras that operate like our eyes and a visual odometer, which helps to determine the orientation of the rover. It's this blue box. So it sees an image, and based on the movement of the image, it can predict how far and how fast the rover is moving. So how does software engineering apply to space robotics? I study computer engineering, so I'm more concerned about the development and integration of the computers on like a rover. So I would do things like develop software, make sure that software can intake data from the cameras or the sensors, and then give the operators useful data. Why do we have rovers? Why don't we just send people to co collect all of the data? It's always dangerous to send humans to space. It's risky to send humans. It's a little bit safer to send rovers, and we can be a little bit more, I guess, daring with how we explore. The Canadian Space Agency has been developing rovers for nearly 20 years. And in 2026, the first Canadian rover is launching, with Canada as the operators. Do you have any advice for young people who would like to pursue a career like yours? I would say be excited and don't be afraid to make mistakes and don't be discouraged by the idea that you don't know enough because we're always learning and at some point we all don't feel like we know enough. So don't be afraid to just jump into it. <laughs>